Hello YouTube, this is a, uh, another experiment we're doing with the HHO generator. Uh, the generator's up there, hooked up to the fire extinguisher, which is actually the bubbler. And, uh, yeah, it, the, the cell's empty at the moment. We've got some distilled water there. My dad's squeaky brakes in his car. Uh, we've just put some, what is it again? Uh, potassium, potassium hydroxide. hydroxide. That's it, yeah, potassium hydroxide. We just put some in that. Uh, we're going to try and run that engine on it. A little Honda uh, 50cc four-stroke engine. Uh, it's got no fuel in it now, but still it runs. <laughs> it's just using the rest of the fuel that's in the carburetor bowl. Hopefully, it's going to be enough to get it fired up and just running enough to switch it over to gas. We'll see. Stay tuned, guys. All right, there, YouTube. Uh, as you can see, we're producing quite a bit of hydrogen here. First run, we're going to see if we can get it going without any explosions. We've got a long leader cable, we've got a flashback arrestor over there and we've got another little one over here just to make sure Let's see if we can get it going Oh, fired oh, It's alright if you don't pull the engine over, will it? Could do with putting it on a board or something Put Yeah, board lying around. plywood board Come on, baby, start! Okay, it's really trying to go. Yeah. Why are you standing so far back? Well, uh, you never know. It's not going to blow up. Ah, it's backfire like that. <laughs> Good example there. Yeah. Now I filled the engine full of water. You can see the amount of hydrogen coming out of the air, the air intake. Yeah. Keep in mind, guys, that this has not had any uh, modifications onto the engine at all. We're still running it with the carburetor on, just with the fuel turned off. In fact, there's no fuel left in it. We've drained the carburetor from the bottom. It's just literally the gas. We'll just see if we can get it real. Come on. Could do with advancing the spark, I think. <laughs> My engine full of water. Hey guys, um, yeah, tests didn't go as well as I thought they was going to go. I thought it was going to go a little better than that, but oh well. We was running it with the uh, with the fuel with, with the uh, fuel bowl open, so there was absolutely no uh, petrol in there. Um, guess I can screw it back up now. Yeah, I'll do it in a minute. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it didn't go as well as planned. We actually degreased the engine when we took it apart to do the flywheel. We we, uh, we took the key out of the flywheel, uh, which is that little guy there. Just a small thing. And then we adjusted the timing by just moving the flywheel. And then uh, using the bolt and bolting it back on again. Don't think it's going to move around. It's, uh, it's on pretty tight. Uh... I had to make my own pulley drawer for it, which I've just put away, out of a bit of angle iron and two bolts because of the way the um, the way the way it is. But uh, yeah, uh, hopefully we'll do some more experiments on it. Uh, yeah, Mum shouting in the background there, looking for a cordless house phone. We got one out here somewhere. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, we can get it purely running on hydrogen. I think the timing needs to be adjusted a little bit more because it's still just, and I mean it is just uh, too. Uh, it's just it's firing still too soon, so it needs to be adjusted a little bit more. I, I hardly moved it. Uh, in terms of degrees, I only moved it about 10 or 12 degrees, um, 10 or 15 degrees probably, on the flywheel uh, from top dead centre, so nothing much. So, yeah, we'll do a few more experiments on it, and then if, the pl if, it, if it doesn't run on it, yeah, we'll scrap the idea. Uh, keep the engine, put it on something else. I'm not going to convert it into steam because it's just not big enough, uh, and, I'm, and I don't really want to go inside this engine. It's too nice. It's too nicer engine to take apart. It's uh, it's a lovely little engine. 
We tried it with the carburetor off, but unfortunately, we wasn't having any, uh, any anything to put the pipe on. It used to keep falling out, so that didn't work. Um, mm, the other thing uh, we could try doing with it is getting it running on some gas. You see, what, I what would be nice, and I bet what would work really well, is if we had a hit and miss engine. I bet that would work really well. Um, making a hit and miss engine, hit and miss using the exhaust valve, uh, having the inlet valve completely closed until it needs to fire, and have a small chamber filled up with hydrogen running from the hydrogen generator, and every time it hits, uh, it's bringing in uh, the built up gas, a bit like a capacitor, really, I suppose. Uh, see, that's an idea. That'll be interesting trying to make a hit and miss engine. I won't, I won't actually mind trying to do that. But it's trying to find an engine that I could I could do it with. I need a big flywheel. Really big flywheel. And I could do it with a, an engine with a very long stroke. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll be easier just to try and find a hit and miss engine. But they are few and far between in the UK. Mostly, well, pretty much always a collector's item nowadays. And very expensive to buy. We'll see anyway. Who knows what will turn up. Now I'm back on the road again. <laughs> the world's my oyster, so to speak. Uh, in terms of going out somewhere and picking stuff up. Well, so long as it'll fit in the back of a Fiat Cinquecento. Uh, I don't know. I haven't got a, uh, a towing bar on the back of the car, but uh, I won't mind one putting on there. But I don't think the engine's big enough to tow with. I'll wait probably one day when I get a bigger car. Time will tell. So yeah, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.